Hello and welcome to Extreme Gameplays where I play games Tashley. Today I wanted to talk about a quick subject, a quick uh, observation about Orion's Harpoon in God of War 3 and how broken it is. And I don't mean broken in the sense of, hey, it's so good, it's broken, what is that? No, I mean like, it, it's broken because it does not work half the time. Just to be clear, this video is for, uh, game, for the gameplay geeks and for the people who are interested in gaming and stuff and the gameplay and not just the story, so... Feel, feel free to not watch this video. This is going to be a quick, uh, not a quick actually. This is going to be a very unedited video about how the Orion's Harpoon is broken. First of all, this right here is the Orion Harpoon. This is the Orion's Harpoon. Pressing circle while the, while the enemy is in the air in front of you does all that. Now in God of War 3, this is uh, broken and I'm going to demonstrate that in a bit. So I've been testing it with uh, the Olympus Fiend for quite some time now. And I found out that you can do it easily if you just spam circle after this grab and as you can see Kratos just goes for it. You can't delay it, not even a single frame. You have, you have some times where you go like this, see, and he goes for the grab instead of the Orion's Harpoon. Now, the Olympus Fiend, I got, I got around it. Like, I was like, after the grab, you have to spam circle in order to get the Orion's Harpoon. Because if you, if you delay it just a little bit, you, you, you sometimes don't get it, trust me. See, it goes for the grab, and then again, see, Kratos goes for the grab again. And again for the grab. This is something that is broken in here. And like in God of War one and two, you get the Orion's harpoon easily. Like you, the enemy is just slightly up in the air, and you and you easily get it. Now in three, however, it's broken. Like most of the time, you're gonna press triangle and then circle, and Kratos is not gonna go for the Orion's harpoon. He's instead gonna go for the grab. See? Now, it's fine to go for the grab if the enemy is actually not that high up but there are some instances that the enemy is perfectly in position and Kratos just does not go for the Orion's harpoon and it's sad because these enemies are the most prevalent in the game the Olympus Sentry, Olympus Legionnaire and Cursed Remains are, are, are some of the most enemies that you fight throughout the game and to be unable to Orion harpoon them easily is actually a very big flaw in the game because it's one of the most important uh, mechanics in God of War like look hold on I'm gonna demonstrate it right here, like, boom, see? The enemy was perfect in position, like, like perfectly in position, see? Again, perfectly in position for Orion Harpoon, Kratos does not go for this. Now, there are some situations where Kratos grabs an enemy off the air with an Orion's Harpoon, and that is if he was onto the wall, see? Kratos easily goes for the Orion Harpoon. But there are some other instances where the enemy is perfectly in position and Kratos just does not go for the Orion Harpoon. He say, he, see, he goes for the grab. Now, about this observation, I, th I tried a lot of stuff. Like, I tried getting the bow out and then going forward, which does work better sometimes, surprisingly. Like, after this, just L2 and then instantly circle, and Kratos does it. But this is still inconsistent, see? He still went for the grab and not this. Now, of course, I have my ways around Orion's Harpoon. <clears throat> Sorry. I have this, which is the best way to do Orion's Harpoon. But you're not going to have yourself... You're not going to find yourself in these situations the most. Sometimes you want to do, like... You want to juggle someone like this guy. Go with him like this, and then go for the Orion's Harpoon. That sometimes works, but most of the other times... You'll just get a normal grab. And it, and it, it just hurts, because it's kind of broken... See, Kratos did not even go for the Orion Harpoon there. Now, this is a problem with every enemy that is uh, these normal enemies. See, like, sometimes sometimes Kratos goes for the Orion Harpoon. Sometimes he doesn't. He just go for the normal grab. Which is such a bummer. Honestly. See? Why did he go for the grab here? The enemy was perfectly in position. Now I'm going to demonstrate one more time with this enemy and then I'm going to jump to the uh, the Olympus Legionnaire, which... It, see? The enemy is perfectly in position. And I don't know if Santa Monica devs are going to be watching this or, you know... I hope Jason McDonald watched this somehow. To try to, you know, go around and fix this. I have my ways around getting it with the blaze like this. I have a lot of ways to uh get the orion's harpoon it's just that the uh, like the original way is not possible whereas you know launch an enemy and then go for this that's not accessible in god of war 3 which is sad 
Now I'm gonna demonstrate this same thing with the Olympus Legionnaire. This enemy is actually a little bit heavier as you can Orion harpoon him and he just sticks to the ground. See? He stays, he does not bounce. Anyways, he has the same problem. Why did Kratos go for the grab again? See? And this time he, he, he seems to do it fine, no problem. This is a problem with these normal enemies. And I'm gonna demonstrate some enemies that don't have this problem. And some other enemies that, that still might have this problem. So, this sometimes works good. Like, square, square, square. And then, uh... The Orion Harpoon grab. Boom, boom. See? It, it, Kratos went for the grab again. Now, I don't know why this bug made it to the game and not... Uh, didn't get fixed on the PS5 as well. Because Orion's Harpoon is one of the most important moves ever. It's like, I'm gonna demonstrate one more time. Am I gonna get it? No. Same thing with the bow. N hold on. Let me try with the bow. Nothing. Hold on. I'm going to try one more time with the bow. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to instantly jump to the next Joe. But I just wanted to make this uh, clear. Like, this is clearly not working. And no one is making a sound out of this. Like, look. L2 still does not work. And I tried different ranges. Like, sometimes I tried uh, from this kind of range. If he would just please stop attacking. See, from this range, Kratos goes for it, but... Barely reaches him. And most of the time, these enemies get in your face, so you have to kind of be close. And and still, with this, uh, with this thing... Like, like, let's say we know this. Like, hey, from this range, boom. Kratos goes for the uh, Orion's Harpoon. This still does not work sometimes. And I want to know why, like, why don't you guys, like, fix it? For real, like, it, it, the game even got ported for PS5, and it still has the same problems. So from this range, you can somewhat get it. Boom. And it's just, Kratos fails, see? This, perfect, this is perfect for the demonstration. Because, why doesn't he reach from this footing? Still nothing. Close up. And mind you, I am lifting my finger off of the stick while doing this. Just to let y'all know, because it's kind of better to lift your finger off the left stick when you go for the Orion Harpoon. Just to get it kind of better. See, delaying it. I tried this delay thing where he just steps one one foot and then I try the Orion's Harpoon, but it still does not work. I trust as fast as, it, as I can and still nothing. Kratos shouldn't be going for the grab there. He should be going for the Orion Harpoon. Now, next I'm going to try this on, uh, I don't think there's a point in trying it on Cursed Remains. It's the same. On the Harpies, it's, it's kind of different. It works better. Further telling that this is just a bug. Like, I'm going to show you in a bit. Okay. Boom. If you don't die, please. This time I'm not going to hit him with anything. Look, I'm just going to Orion Harpoon him. And this works consistently, like... 100% of the time, this works. It's not a single time that you're going to fail this. Kratos always goes for the Orion Harpoon, as he should, because that's how that's how this combat should work. It's like the enemy is in front of you in the air, you press circle, and you're good. Like, you go for the Orion Harpoon and nothing else. And here you have to make exceptions for yourself, because on the normal enemies, it hardly works. See, like, you have to do something like along the these stuff, like boom, and then go for the Orion Harpoon. Like, you lift him with this, attack, and then circle to get the Orion Harpoon optimally. Like, this, there's not a single chance for you to miss this one. You can even go with the Nemesis Whip, like, just like, triangle and then instantly circle, but not this. I'm sorry. You can go uh, triangle and then instantly circle for, the, for an instantaneous Orion's Harpoon, which is really great. Hold on, let me demonstrate it in a second. See? After this, Kratos instantly can go for the Orion Harpoon, which works in your favor. Uh, I want to demonstrate that it works for uh, the normal enemies as well. It's like, it's like let's let's get the Olympus Legionnaire again. I'm just going to show you guys how this works. Because with the Nemesis Whip, that's why it's one of my favorite weapons. It instantly launches the enemy and you can instantly Orion Harpoon. Boom. See? This works consi consistently. Like, there's nothing that can go wrong there. Now, why it sucks that you can't do it with the blaze is for a lot of options. 
you mostly fight these enemies with the blades. Being unable to get the Orion Harpoon every time optimally just sucks. After a square square triangle you might get it. <laughs> no. Another grab. But it's, it's more likely to get it after a square square triangle than an actual triangle attack. See, it's no point in doing it from that range. Kratos cannot reach. It kind of sucks, actually, because Orion's Harpoon is very useful. I know, even without the collisions, because collisions in God of War 3 are not scaling with difficulty, just like God of War 1 and 2. But it, th they're still useful, like, you know, there, he gets them. But why, like, I, I'd say 70% of the time, Kratos just does not go for the Orion Harpoon. With these three enemies specifically. Now our next case after the Harpy. Our next case is going to be the Gorgon. And the Gorgon has surprisingly better odds of having. You know to grip her with the Orion Harpoon. Again for some reason. Because why is that even the case? I want to know. Okay let's stop her. See like you can even juggle her into an Orion Harpoon. That is hardly doable with the normal enemies. Like you know. Let me just try this. She, she does not get launched with this, but you know, yeah. She's easier actually to get an Orion Harpoon and you just launch her. And again, if you can juggle her good enough, you can get your Orion Harpoon easily. See, even, even though she dropped to the ground and even bounced for a bit there, I was still able to get her. Okay, freeze me. She, she sometimes gets so close to the ground and I still get her, like... But anyways, if you really want to get uh, an optimal Orion Harpoon in, this is the best way. You should go for, you know, the Nemesis Whip, and then instantly circle. Hold on, let me just... Yeah, you get it. You just triangle, then instantly circle is the best way you can ever have, because you instantly launch her, and then instantly like that. Like, it's just instantaneous. Everything just happens in a blaze. You can never miss an, uh, an Orion Harpoon like this. You just launch her and then instantly grab. Our next case is the Gorgon Serpent. Which is also rough, I would say. Because you go perfectly juggling her and then you go for the grab. And Kratos does not do what he has to do as y'all just saw. This is wrong because... And it's broken for other reasons as well. This one is not just broken as in, hey, you can't instantly touch her and stuff even when you do the orion harpoon the slam attack does not damage the surroundings this slam attack that you do to her should also damage the, the see where she dropped right here it should da damage the enemies around her but it does not work as i will demonstrate right now I'm gonna add in some enemies in there throw three of these olympus sentries in the mix now, it is possible to damage them sometimes, but not every time, which is why it should be consistent. Now, if y'all would just space out for a bit. Okay. I'm gonna launch her, and then I'm gonna... See how it didn't damage anyone there? Not even here? This is, mind you, this is a slam type of Orion Harpoon. This should damage everyone surrounding the enemies. Now, I'm doing the optimal way of getting an Orion's Harpoon, which is, you know, as usual, try, you know, launching her with the Venomous Whip, then getting the, pressing the circle attack, and then boom. This should work, this should damage the surrounding enemies normally. That's, that's a problem with normal enemies as well. This is a slam type that works sometimes. Yet it does not work every time. Look, I'm going to demonstrate. It did not damage anyone there. Not even here. Yet you just saw me kill one of these guys by uh, Orion harpooning them. And this still does not work. I'm going to demonstrate one more time. Let me demonstrate one more time, please. Boom. Slamming her perfectly right here in position. This is the place where she should damage. But it does not work. Now I'm going to try another case here that 
in this case, the Orion Harpoon. And mind you, the, the Gorgon Serpent, you sometimes juggle her and, and you still go for the grab instead of the Orion Harpoon. So the Gorgon, the Gorgon Serpent has two flaws here. You have the Orion Harpoon not coming out. Like you have a 50% chance to go for the Orion Harpoon. Sometimes Kratos goes stupidly goes for the grab, which is not what you want. Because that would be a false Orion Snare. Orion Snare is the circle, the grab attack. The hug, I would say. Now, that and the slam attack. Our next case is Scorpius spawn. These guys should be damaging the surrounding. The, like, I'm throwing them. Well, like This should count as a collision. But it does not work as a collision. Just works. Just looks like it. Secretos shoots him. And it did not damage a single one of these guys. But if they're in rage, if they're in rage, they, they do get damaged. Hold on, let me just demonstrate this. I'm going to wait for the scorpion to spawn and I'm going to get him in this crowd. If you grab him off the air right there and then, you know, just grab him and stuff. These guys do get damaged. But if you if you throw him like this, he does not damage this uh, sentry, as y'all just saw. Let me try that one more time. Everyone has to be in rage, in range for uh, them to get damaged. See? This guy just got damaged. This this one just got damaged because he was in range. Like, he was right next to the scorpion. Otherwise, throwing the scorpius like this does not damage... Uh, like, whoever you shoot it towards does not... Da See? This guy did not get damaged. Which is weird because Kratos is obviously shooting them in the dog shooting animation. And there he got hit. Did you see that? You might just say Zesty, that guy just died out of that Orion Harpoon. But in actuality, if you look closely again, he died in the animation that I got the Scorpion down in and not actually throwing him. So like... Like, in, the, in between the time where I'm grabbing him down, that's when he's getting damaged. See, even this guy. The one that just got uh, splattered to the wall. These guys are not getting damaged because I'm shooting the scorpion. They're getting damaged because, see, even this one that just died? They're getting damaged because I'm dragging the scorpion down with my Orion Harpoon. They're not getting damaged because I'm shooting the scorpion. Now, that's a case with uh, dogs as well. If you want to go for a normal dog shooting simulator, you can do that. You can simply grab the dog and just... Kratos even perfectly aims it to the other enemies. Like, this damages the surrounding. Hold on, let me try that again. If you wouldn't die, please. I'm going to shoot this dog to this crowd, and they are going to get damaged. Like, there's nothing wrong with this. Of course, how dare you something goes wrong with this. So, like, I'm going to grab him. Boom. Damage. He just damaged this guy right here. That I just stomped. But he still has the same Scorpius issue. Whereas, you know, the, the Orion Harpoon does not. See, I just shot him. He did nothing. The collision did not connect with this guy. At all. He did not damage him. Shoot. Nothing. He got he got killed up there with uh, because of the collision and nothing more. Again, just like the Scorpion, you have to be in range to kind of damage the surrounding if Kratos would please do it you basically get it this guy's collisions are broken now let's move on to the next enemy but before I do that I just want to test out something uh, I want to see if this thing's uh, Orion Harpoon does work before I go boom Anyways, he's dead. I'm just gonna go to another case study right now, and it's gonna be the Minotaur. Like, the Minotaur alone. So, so far, we have issues with these enemies. And is that you grab them, and Kratos does not go for the Orion Harpoon when they're in, in position perfectly. He goes for the grab. That's one. The second uh, problem is that the slam attacks don't damage the surrounding, which they should. That's perfectly what they should do. And it sucks because these enemies usually have to have the slam type. And the slam works sometimes and does not work in a lot of other times. There's one official slam in this game that works like wonders every time. You can never fail it. And it's the Olympus Fiend. This guy. 
Now I'm gonna demonstrate this before I go before I move on to the Minotaur. This guy you can even redirect him. Just like God of War 1, you can redirect his Orion Harpoon to wherever you want. To your liking. To your liking, basically. So you can redirect him. And uh this is the only Orion Harpoon that damages the surroundings. Hold on, let me just see this. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna kill these two by uh Orion Harpooning that enemy into them. See like this? Spam circle. Hold on, I want I want them, I want them to get kind of closer. See, like I'm gonna launch him, drop him on this guy. If you would please, I'm gonna drop him on that guy, and he's just he just got damaged. Do you see that? He's dead with like two arrows now. Hopefully. Anyways, he at least got damaged. That's the important part here. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Just to show y'all one more time. Boom. He just got damaged. And again, this guy. That's the only slam that consistently worked within God of War 3. Yes, the Olympus Fiend is the only slam that works. Now let's move on to what I was about to move on to. And that is the, the Minotaurs. Now these Minotaurs are troublesome. Because it kind of works a lot of the time. But it does not work every time. See, for example, of course, of course, this launcher always connects the Orion Harpoon to the enemy. This launcher can never fail. Unless you kind of really delay it. But this can never fail. I'm talking about this. And you can't launch a Minotaur with this. What I'm going to be talking about with the Minotaur is, again, just the, the part that was wrong with the Gorgon Serpent. Where you juggle him and the Orion Harpoon does not come out every time. See, Kratos went for the grab there. This time perfectly positioned again. And Kratos goes for the Orion Harpoon. Some other times, however, Kratos does not go with the Orion Harpoon. And the, the safest uh, way to kind of get that, the juggle into Orion Harpoon, is by, you know, attacking twice and then going for the Orion Harpoon, just like this. Square, square, hold on. Square, square, Orion Harpoon. And he's stuck. Now, if this was 100% uh, working, this would be working however you want it, like this. Works a lot of times, but sometimes it fails. I don't know why the game is not deciding to fail right now, but it always fails me when I play. But today decided to choose speeds, but... Just know that uh, even the Minotaurs have the same problem, like... No one is free from this problem. I'm gonna try this with the Nemesis Whip. Of course, the Nemesis Whip does tend to get the enemy away from you, but... You can always, uh, like, after the juggle state... Hold on, let me just... You can you can always press triangle mid these attacks to launch them again. I want to demonstrate one more time. Square, 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 triangle. So you basically get it. With the Minotaur, uh, you can try out for yourself. As I said, this video is for the gameplay geeks like me. Who are really just playing the games for the gameplay. Of course, I do care about the story, but I'm just saying. Gameplay is the most important. Gameplay is supreme. A lot of times the Orion Harpoon fails in here as well. And that's a, that's an issue only with God of War 3. Like God of War 3 is legit the only games that has this huge issue with Orion's Harpoon. This attack works a lot of times but does not work every time you want to do it. Which sucks. Now moving on to the next enemy. This enemy disappointed me in that he, I did not fail a single Orion Harpoon. But it happens. Just know that it happens. Now, what else do we got? We got the uh, Siren Seductress. And these... Uh, oh, I don't remember how I did it with these guys. Like, is it always working? Hold on. Boom. It, it works most of the time. Okay, this one is not broken. This kind of further solidifies that this is a broken mechanic in here. It's like, it's not refined. The edges are not refined. You're going to see in a second because I can get this one. However I want. See? It just happened there. Let's do it again. Boom. Hold on. With this girl, it works every time. Now, actually, one more thing that I want to test right here. And is that, does this uh, collision work? Or is it just like the Gorgon Serpent and it does not work? Maybe. Who knows? So, let's add three of these guys. 
All right, now here we are. Don't you shoot me. Okay, I want to space them out. Come here. Okay, so this one is not broken. This one does damage. See, when I throw her, she does kind of damage the surroundings. So this is good. This collision works. See, even when I throw her after this grab, unlike the Gorgon Serpent, this one works. So the Siren Seductress is uh, a Ryan Harpoon. is not broken. It works perfectly. Get the hell out of here. Okay. One more observation. Oh, I missed it. Whatever. All that we know is that it works consistently. Go for the Orion Harpoon, please. Yeah, see? Finally. I, I truly believe it's just a 20% chance that it works against the Olympus Sentry, Olympus Legionnaire, and the Curse Remains. Now we have a very, very special case. That case being the Wraiths. The Wraith of Olympus. This one has the sweetest sweet spot for the Orion Harpoon. You can literally Orion Harpoon this girl from everywhere. It works consistently. Like you can go out, go around and juggle her. Hold on, let, let me just get her out. Like one, two, Orion Harpoon. One, two, three, Orion Harpoon. This is the only enemy that this works this consistently against. Because then you have other enemies that it doesn't work consistently against. Like even double triangle connects the Orion Harpoon. Squares. Hold on. Let, let's pull her out. Four squares this time. One, two, three, four. Orion Harpoon. One, two, three, four, five. Orion Harpoon. The Wraith of Olympus in God of War 3 is perfect in here. Because you can never fail the, uh, the Orion Harpoon with her. I think even after one square, hold on, let's pull her out. Even after one square, Quero still goes for the Orion Harpoon. As you can see. This is very interesting. Only the Wraith has this specialty where you can Orion Harpoon everyone, uh, uh, everywhere, sorry. Just one more time with five squares. One, two, three, four, five, Orion Harpoon. This works the easiest, the sweetest, as it should. At the end of the video, I might, I'm going to show some God of War 1 and God of War 2 alternate OHs. And you guys decide. I'm going to show some God of War 1 Orion Harpoons at the end. Sorry. Just know that for God of War 3, the only enemy that this works consistently for is the Wraith of Olympus. And by the way, uh, the Blades of Athena have the same problem as well. Not that you would use the Blades of Athena because they do level 1 Blades of Exile damage. But let's say you wanted to fix this issue and just go with the Orion Harpoon no matter what. Just try to score for, them for an Orion Harpoon no matter what the cost. You still can't get it. It's still broken. Look. Is it gonna work? It works. Now I'm going to try it again. See? It's an issue with this blade and the Blade of Exile. It's not just the Exile. And it's not about a it's not even a range problem. Like sometimes you might you might think you get it from this range and you do get it, but some other times you do it and you don't get it. Oh, trust me, you will not get it. Double triangle into circle. Grab. I can show you a specific clip of God of War 1 where I go double triangle into an Orion Harpoon. Which worked right now as y'all just saw. So it is in the game and it should work. But it's broken. Works perfectly. Works perfectly. Works perfectly. But then you have other situations where it does not work. Delay it. Do it as fast as you can. It does not work. Just wanted to make this quick observation about the Orion Harpoon. I know this video is long enough as it is, but I, I said at the start this is for the combat geeks. 
This needs to be fixed. This truly needs to be fixed. I don't know if anyone's watching from Santa Monica or, or even if they care about God of War 3. But even like sometimes you juggle an enemy. See this time it worked, which, which is wonders always. But most of the time this does not work as well. Like you're mid juggling, Kratos goes for this instead of the instead of the Orion Harpoon. Hold on, let, let me make sure that I did not miss any of these uh, situations right here. Oh, one, one thing, thank God I, I remembered. The Olympus Archer has another slam type of Orion Harpoon, and it still does not damage the surroundings. See, I'm going to spawn one of these guys. And I'm going to slam the, the Olympus Archer into this guy. And you see for yourself. Look. See what damage that... Uh, like, this guy did get damaged right now. But it wasn't because I threw the enemy at him. It was because of the collision of the Orion Harpoon. Nothing more. See, this slam does not do damage. It should do damage because it's a slam, just like the Olympus Fiend. I mean, look. I dropped him right at his footsteps. Again. Boom. Nothing. The only way I can damage this guy with the Olympus Archer would be if, if they were just perfectly in one place, in one shape. Hold on, let me just try to get that, actually. So right now, I'm going to get him in position. Did you see that? That's the only way you can damage. This is a slam type that does not do a slam effect. This is a slam top as well, like, this should work as a slam, yet it does not damage the surroundings. And this is a slam that just damaged him, oh my god. This proves how inconsistent this is. See, it did not damage this guy right now. Man did not even flinch. He should be getting damaged right now. But no. The Olympus Archer is an interesting uh, observation right here. Proves how broken the Orion Harpoon is, like, generally. It just works in the animation of doing it. That's the only part of the collision that connects. Nothing more connects. Like, if I slam an enemy next to another enemy, it does not really damage them. This first grab impression is the only thing that really damages the enemy surrounding them. And that is especially affected with the Hounds and the, and the Scorpius enemies. Like these Hounds, the, the, the Feral Hound, let's just use him as an example right now. See, shooting him, do, uh, and Orion Harpooning him off the air into, into another enemy does not really damage the enemy most of the time. See, you know what damaged him? The part where the hound was coming back down. That's the only thing that damaged this guy. The actual throw does not damage him. And I want to make that perfectly clear. See, and this time it damaged him. I'm slowly losing my sanity throughout this video. Because sometimes it does not even hit these guys. Some other times, it damages them perfectly. Yet here, see, see, the collision of him coming back down damaged this uh, guy right here. This shouldn't be working this way. This shooting animation, the, the range from here to there, where he just reached, that should be damaging the enemies. Let's see if I can get him. Nah, it's whatever. See, the animation of him coming down is what is damaging that that sentry right here. 
Anyways, I just wanted to make this quick video. Not a quick video. This is a th this nearly a 40 minute observation. Just wanted to make this to uh, kind of point out the inconsistencies in God of War 3. Because this is the best the game's ever been. The combat system in here is the most fleshed out. And to have that one important mechanic messed up like that. So one last time I'm gonna through I'm gonna be going through the enemies, and then I'm gonna show you an effect uh, like one more time how this all works in God of War One perfectly, yet it does not work. It like I can do this in God of War One. Uh, like after this air triangle, drop down and do this. In here it does not work for the sentries. Like in here it obviously works for this guy, but for the for the normal sentries and legionnaires it does not work. So one last. Time, let's go through the enemies and what's inconsistent with their o Orion's Harpoon. So you have the Olympus Archer. The slam is not really a slam. It does not even work as a slam. The Olympus Fiend is the only enemy that has a consistent Orion Harpoon. Like, you know, when we're talking this, he's not the only one. He's one of the only ones that has a consistent Orion Harpoon. And he's the only one launchable with Triangle, him and the Wraith. And the Siren as well to some extent. You can launch him with just a basic triangle. Like you know like this. And get the Orion Harpoon. You guys are going to see so. Not whole triangle. Just triangle into an Orion Harpoon. Just like the Wraith. And it is the only Orion Harpoon that you can redirect. Which is a heresy because. You should be able to redirect the Hounds and the Scorpius. That's exactly what you can do in God of War Ascension but not in 3. Anyways, the Olympus Fiend you can is the is the perfect Orion Harpoon. You can redirect him. The slam works, and it does not fail. It does not fail seventy percent of the time. Next enemy is the Olympus Sentry, where you have a failed Orion Harpoon nearly sixty percent of the time. The only way to consistently get an Orion Harpoon one more time before I go through the other enemies. Is by doing this with the Nemesis Whip. This is the fastest way. And the most consistent way. That's the only way you can you can consistently get a Orion Harpoon. Otherwise, if you try with the triangle, you get something like, like a grab coming out. Or some other times you get the Orion Harpoon, but not every time. Which which inconsistently should should not be tolerated in God of War, because combat encounters are important. See, Kratos goes for the grab. Mind you, I did not even uh, delay that or anything. And this does not count. This is a launcher. This, of course, uh, an Orion Harpoon connects with this one. But anyways, with the Olympus uh, Sentry, it's 70% inconsistent and the Orion Harpoon does not come out. Instead, Kratos goes for the grab. You cannot redirect it. That's going to be a theme for all the other enemies, so I'm not going to mention it every time. The redirection only works with the Olympus Fiend. Anyways, the last thing is that the slam does not do anything. It does not damage the surroundings most of the time. 90% of the time. Because I have seen instances, even you guys, if you watch this video fully, you guys have seen the instance where it worked. It damaged the surroundings. The Olympus Legionnaire is the same. Curse Remains is the same. Sync Assistance, sometimes a grab comes out. And the, and the slam does not work. The Harpies are perfect. They work all the time. Launch him with the Blades of Exile and then go for, a run for an Orion Harpoon and it works. The Gorgon is, is a very good case. You can juggle it all you want. And by the, by the way, these enemies go with the same uh, motto. Well, if, you, if you juggle them, the Orion Harpoon does not come out. And that goes for like 90% of the time again. So like this guy, I'm going to juggle him with four squares. And it works. While some other times, even if you want to try it out for yourself, it does not work. Let me try it one more time before I go back to the enemy selection. It sucks because in God of War 1, if they're slightly above the ground, you can Orion Harpoon them. No, 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 no. Kratos goes for the grab. Anyways, let's continue with the enemies and their flaws with the Orion Harpoon. We next have the uh, the Harpy Queen. 
I mean, if they're if you if you're doing a a bug fixes update or anything, you can, however, fix this guy. Like the Orion Hop one, just makes Kratos grapple onto him. Which is not what we want. We want just a normal uh, Orion Harpoon. If possible. And by Orion, a uh, normal Orion Harpoon, I mean just a Harpy Orion Harpoon. And that gets me to my next point. The Harpy Orion Harpoon, you can only uh, do the alternate Orion Harpoon with the blades. So like if I hold circle with the with the, with the Nemesis Whip, only the normal or uh, Orion Harpoon comes out. But if you hold circle with the blades... You get this, the 360 toss. This should be fixed if they're gonna work on a fix anytime soon. If, again, if anyone watches this video. But yeah, the Harpy works perfectly most of the time. I see that this triangle did launch the Harpy into an Orion Harpoon. Kratos did not stupidly go for the grab. But anyway, they just have to fix the alternate Orion Harpoon, which is holding circle. And they have to give it to all the weapons. Um, and maybe I, this is just this is just an idea. I I just think these enemies were supposed to have alternate OHs as well, but they were scrapped, or did not work for a bug. I hope that gets fixed because that gets fixed because it is in God of War two. In God of War two, you can do an alternate Orion harpoon. Why can't you do that in God of War three? You can only do it to a harpy and only with a blade with the blades. Anyways, the Gorgon, perfect. Down to the lead, to the smallest minute detail. Perfect. Because you can Orion Harpoon her while juggling and it doesn't matter how low she goes, how near the ground she is. Matter of fact, let's test one more thing with the Gorgon. And is the... Hold on, I want to see if the collisions work. Because it would be pretty surprising if the collisions did not work with her. No, no, it works. See, it did hit this guy right here. So the collisions do work with, uh... With this girl, see? If I can just align them perfectly. Anyways, you just saw that when she flies towards them, she does hit them for the, for the collision. Not that it matters that much in God of War 3, but I, ju I just wanted to make it clear for y'all. So she's perfect, the collision works. Gorgon Serpent. This has a problem. While juggling, you cannot grab Orion Harpoon her off the air, just like this normal Gorgon. And the slam does not damage the surroundings. That's a huge problem because the slam is heavily implied that it should do damage to the to wherever it drops. And I think while making this video, it did damage the surroundings. But most of the time, it does not work. I can safely say 90% of the time, it does not work. See? Hold on. This slam. Let me just showcase this. It does not damage to... It does not deal damage to wherever it drops. Anyways, you just saw that. I think it was at the 20 minute mark where I used the Gorgon Serpent. And the slam does not do damage. Scorpius spawn. Has the same issue of the Feral Hounds. Where, uh... Only the collision in the air of the animation of him coming down from the air did damage this guy. And not actually the the shoot that he does. Like this. This does this does not damage this guy. Except for sometimes. I would give it a 15% chance where it would damage the enemy. Other than that, only the dropping down animation damages whoever it reaches. That's a problem with the hounds as well. It's not just the Scorpius spawn. Minotaur Elite and the Minotaurs uh, race completely. Sometimes the juggling does not work. Like sometimes I would juggle one of these guys and I want to do a, an Orion Harpoon and Kratos goes for the grab. Now that could be just a problem of timing, but even with timing, what is timing really? Because in God of War 1, you can Orion Harpoon anyone at any time. And in here, it's, it's just working perfectly. For this video, of course, it's working perfectly, but when I play off screen, it does not happen all the time. Kratos sometimes goes, goes for the grab, and that's really excruciating because in, in heated combat scenarios, you're supposed to play optimally, and any mistake is just going to be your end. So, I would say this guy is good. Like, I, I'm going to give it a perfect... I don't know. I don't know, really. I think it, it comes out, like, 
90 percent of the time but there are some times where it does not work so the minotaurs are good they're good the feral hounds and the hades Cerberus whelp have the same problem of the scorpio spawn they only damage with the collision if they are you know in the animation of dropping down with the orion harpoon and not the actual shoot that Kratos shoots them to the enemies and they don't get the enemies don't get damaged when they're hit by these guys the satyr i think just has suffers from the same problem of you know the these guys uh you know it suffers the same problem of these olympus century and stuff where it's a slam but it does not damage the surroundings but it's not important because you don't really fight a, a satyr that much see the slam does not do damage hold on let me kick let, let them kick me out of it please this slam did not damage this guy next to me. That's the problem with the satyr, but it's fine because you you don't. How often do you fight a satyr with normal enemies? Siren Seductress is good. Even the collision works good for her because when you when Kratos uh when Kratos drags her down and then hits her with the blade, the collision works perfectly. Like she hits the enemies uh behind, like this launcher does hit the enemy like that enemy did you see that he just got hit it works like wonders for the siren even after you launch her with this she still does uh get in position for the orion harpoon which is important because it does not happen with every enemy hold on let me just showcase this see and, it, and she damaged this guy that i'm that i'm about to hit it works it works Overall, the best one is the the Olympus Fiend. Except for the grab one. The grab is kind of problematic because you have to spam. And, and it's not really problematic. It's just that you know you got to know that you have to spam in order to get the Orion Harpoon. And that does not happen all the time. Like if you delay slightly, Kratos goes for the grab. But you have to spam the button to really get it. So I would honestly say the best Orion Harpoon is the Olympus Fiend. But the second best is, is of course the, the Wraith of Olympus. Because you fight a lot of wraiths while playing, and the the accessibility for its Orion Harpoon is amazing. You can Orion Harpoon her with every weapon, even while juggling. Kratos still goes for the Orion Harpoon, which is important. Let me try one more thing, which is this. Kratos still goes for the Orion Harpoon. This air triangle into Orion Harpoon is hard, but it should be a way to do it, but I don't know. Let me just pull her out one more time. Hold on. That was a mistake on my part. Because the timing for this has to be uh, better. There. It works. It works perfectly against the Wraith. I hope you guys, uh, I don't know how to feel about this video. Like, is it supposed to teach you guys something? Is it supposed to send a message to Santa Monica? Even though they're working hard on Ragnarok, I'm not asking for you for you guys to get busy with God of War 3 of all games right now. I'm just saying, after Ragnarok, maybe settle down for these games. Actually, just God of War 3. Maybe port God of War Ascension to PS5 and PS4 as well. Of course, God of War 1 and 2. That would be hard work, I know, but... People would love that, I'm sure, and it's it would be an amazing business move. Like, come on, I know that I know game I know games are made for money. I'm not stupid. I just wanted to make this video to demonstrate how inconsistent the Orion Harpoon is in God of War Three, especially against normal enemies. And that's basically about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See that failed Orion Harpoon? I hate it. Let's split this guy apart. Now watch some God of War 1 videos that the Orion Harpoon works perfectly on and then, I don't know. Go ahead and do something. We're 22 days away from Ragnarok. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. 
If you like God of War content, subscribe. Peace.